Oh, hello, it's me, Commander Beetlejude, doing another of my let's take a perfectly good screenshot and turn it into a work of art videos. Fancy meeting you here. Is that a stick of chalk in your pocket, or are you just pleased to see me? This is a picture of binary planets orbiting each other and very close to the main star in the system. We visited it on the Galnet News Digest Office Day Out. The two planets orbit the star really fast. If you stop in space, you can watch them travel past with a, a whooshing sound. Well, there would be a whooshing sound if it wasn't in the vacuum of space. What I'm doing here is adding white and brown and orange splodges to the paper. I decided to use pink paper because there's a tiny amount of pink in the picture, and I'd probably run out of pink chalk or something. The splodges look completely random, don't they? And that's the beauty of a picture like this. I can make loads of mistakes, and you'll never know. Binary planets are where you get two roughly equal-sized planets, and they orbit each other. If one is much bigger than the other, like the Earth and the Moon, and if the gravitational balance point or barycenter of the pair is inside one of them, under the surface, then the other, less massive object is called a Moon. These two planets aren't the same size by any means, but they're close enough in mass that they're both planets. They're both really knobbly planets, covered in craters and bumps, proper potato planets. It's, it's lovely drawing knobbly bits like that. I wonder if there are planets based on other sorts of vegetable. Parsnip planets, perhaps, or rutabago. A Jerusalem artichoke planet would be a sight to behold. Now I'm drawing the characters standing in the foreground. The best way to do this is to draw them on a separate piece of paper and then cut them out and stick them. Oh, no, 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 no. I've decided to draw them straight onto the picture after all. Drawing people is much harder than drawing planets because if you draw the head in the wrong place, where the hand should be, for example, people tend to notice. Incidentally, can you see how I'm showing off by doing all this using my left hand? We wanted to land on one of the planets near the Terminator, the line that divides day and night, to give long shadows and to take a picture of the other planet on the horizon. It took a while to find a suitable spot because the lit part of the planet was too hot to disembark. Isn't that frustrating when that happens? You land somewhere nice and you try to get out and it says, no, nope, you can't get out. I mean, goodness sake, if you get out here, you're going to die. You're going to be a fried little crisp of a person in your little spacesuit, all crispy and crispy and dead. But of course, we should have the right to get out and end up as a little crispy fried dead person. Where was I? Oh yes, it took a while to find a suitable spot because the lit part of the planet was too hot to disembark, so we had to fly across the Terminator and into darkness. That causes problems with contrast in a photograph because the sunlit crescent of the planet in the background is very bright. It was far brighter than the figures in the foreground. This is where drawing makes it easier, because I could lighten the shadow part of the planet in the background and also bring out the detail for the characters in the front of the lit part. If you have been watching, well, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye! This video was voiced on behalf of Commander Beetlejude by Commander Wotherspoon. All the words are approved by Commander Beetlejude. And in a moment, you'll get to see the finished picture for exactly two seconds.